we're going to continue building our experiment with slide states, which can be added to any slide object. This is useful when you want a single object to present different stimuli depending on which level of a list object is selected. Let's say that we wanted to add another condition where the subject responds to the color of an object, for example, a car. We can do this by creating a new slide state for our Stroop Slide object. Open up Stroop Slide and click on the Add Slide State button. This will create a new tab at the bottom of the object. In this new tab, make the background black and click and drag an image object onto the canvas. Click on the Sub Object Property pages and click on the Folder button to select the image to display. ePrime comes with two images in the Tutorials folder, Blue Car and Red Car. Select Blue Car and notice that the path to the file name is automatically filled in. Click OK and notice that the image space is now filled up with the Blue Car image. However, it is cut off around the edges, since the frame of the image isn't large enough to cover the actual image. We can click and drag the edges until we see the whole image, or we can go back to the sub-object properties and expand the frame to 100% so that it covers the entire background. Also, change the back color property to black for consistency between the image background and the slide background. Here I am also going to set the width and the height to 100%. Now open Stroop List and add another attribute. Call it State Name. Then add two more levels. For these new levels, we will be using the Stroop Color variable, but not the Stroop Word variable, so leave Stroop Word empty. Fill in the Stroop Color levels with red and blue. For condition, enter red car and blue car, and have the correct RESP attribute reflect the red and blue colors. Lastly, the state name attribute will select the slide state that we want. Fill in the first four levels as Stroop and the last two levels as Car. Now go back to the Stroop slide object. To change the name of the slide state, select the background sub object from the drop down menu and click on the sub object property pages. Replace default with Stroop. Select the other tab and replace state1 with car. For the car image, Replace the blue car part of the file name with the condition attribute. For example, if the blue car level is chosen, this will fill in the file name with the path tutorials slash blue car dot BMP. Lastly, click on the property pages button and fill in the active state field with the state name attribute. This will select the appropriate slide state according to which level is chosen. Also, update the instructions to reflect the new condition. Now, run the experiment and see what this looks like. We now have added another condition without adding any new objects to our structure window. This makes the experiment more economical and easier to keep track of. In the next video, we will expand our experiment by adding a set of practice trials and using inline scripts to determine when to exit the practice trials. See you soon.